Hello YouTube, this is Bill McFadden, and this will be a comparison of various string libraries for you to consider if you don't have some of them. So we'll start with the Vienna Symphonic Library, the Apassionata strings, and these are all going to be sustain patches. So let's go ahead and get started with the Apassionata. The next library we'll look at is the Vienna Symphonic Library Orchestra Patch. Next on the list is the Apassionata Strings Muted or Sordino. And if you'll notice, each the reverb that I'm using consistently throughout is the Berlin Teldex Studio from the Murex collection for the Vienna Symphonic Library instruments. The next one, we're still in the Vienna Symphonic Libraries. This one's the Chamber. And here's the chamber with the Sordino mutes on the strings. Now we come into orchestral tools and they have their full Berlin strings and here's the ensemble patch for them.
Now they also have a Consordino patch by clicking or turning that on. Then you get the Sordino strings, which I believe is filters put on the actual regular patch to make it sound Sordino. But it does sound convincing. And you can see we can cross fade from piano to mezzo forte to forte by using the mod wheel. The next patch we'll look at is the Spitfire Chamber Strings Ensemble patch. And you'll notice they do have Consordino as well. So if I click there. The next patch is from the Spitfire Total Symphonic Strings. And they have a Sordino patch as well. Notice we're using the tree mark, and there is a close name you can use as well, in addition to the tree marks. Next one we'll look at is Cinematic Studio Strings.
if you'll notice, they have a consardino patch here as well. Next one we'll look at is the String Ensemble Essential. It comes with Contacts Ultimate 11 package, I believe. So in the uh, String Ensemble Symphony Essentials, basically they give you um, essential articulations, your basic ones. The next one we'll look at is Albion 1. They have a String Ensemble patch as well. This is the interface for that. You see we're using the tree mic and, um, and the long patch or sustain patch. The next one we'll look at is uh, Spitfire's Albion 2. And so you'd expect the Spitfire to have the same kind of quality in the strings. distracted by a phone call. So the next one we'll look at is the LA scoring strings.
because that one's a dry patch, I went ahead and added a little bit of reverb, the uh, Universal Audio uh, Lexicon patch, 224. The next one we'll look at is the uh, Cinestrings Core patch by Cinesapis. sound. And here's the East-West Hollywood Strings patch, the you know, string ensemble patch, or one of them. Here's the East-West Orchestral Strings Patch. with the uh, stage mics. There's also surrounding clubs that you can add to give you a fuller sound. And here's Symphobia 1, their string patch. but you can bring up your reverb. And then we have the Symphobia 2 patch for sustained strings. Last but not least, we have the Lumina or Symphon Symphobia 3 Ensemble String Patch.
can see they call it the Synphobian Sordino, so it's basically a Sordino kind of a patch. So that wraps up the string comparison. About 19 string libraries, some of them with separate Sordinos, some of them with Sordinos included. And uh, signing off for now, this is Bill McFadden from Tone Pure Music. Looking forward to your comments and suggestions. This was just a comparison primarily of sustained patches. In other videos, we'll get into some of the shorter articulations. And uh, that'll do it for today.